Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here in the uh, old hands base of Philip at Four Fingers. Uh, now repopulated by Knights Errant and the like. Uh, so we're going to have a quick bit of meditation here just to get our alchemy stuff back and reduce our toxicity obviously. Uh, we'll get some food eaten as well. Get our vitality back up. Look at the view from this castle by the way. Must be a hell of a job, even even guarding this guarding this castle, because you just get to look out all over all, 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 all this lush lush verdant scenery. It's gorgeous. Um, this is part four hundred of this uh, of this series as well, by the way, guys. So we are we have done a hell of a good job in getting in getting this far. Uh, as have the rest of you, by the way. Like, um, thank you to everyone who's watched this series so far. It's been an absolute blast to make. Witcher Three is a fantastic game. But the interaction from everyone has been equally superb. So we're going to carry on um, down south. So we've got a new, we've got a marker for Monocrane Castle there. If I can actually get onto it, Duke Roger the Reveler was, as his nickname might suggest, no teetotaler. The story of his alcohol-fueled romps number today among the most cherished of traditional Toussaint tales. This state of perpetual tipsiness might might just be what drove his decision to surround the duchy with a series of castles meant to protect Toussaint from the barbarous highlanders of, of, of Mount Gorg. And thing is, no one has ever heard of such a folk. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, but if they did exist, at least Toussaint's prepared. Right. That, oh my God, Roach! What a what, Roach! Move it, Roach! You absolute psychopath! What a. Because I don't quite know how I'm going to get up. Oh, there we go. It's fine. We're safe. Right. Let's let's try that again. Go, just go. Just turn turn around, Roach. <laughs> Slowly. T it's not that cold, girl. Come on. There we go. We made it, we made it. So there's another location here. Knight Errant in distress. Save the Knight Errant. Yes, and this is another um, ducal contract. Shut up and fight. I do love a world. There we go. Greetings, living legend. You're very welcome, sir. Yeah, I'm guess uh, a Camelingo contract. That's it. Uh, some half brains have been wandering around the Amon Korea, and they call themselves Knight Aaron, but I call them I call them swill sloping miscreants. No idea what they're looking for here. No windmills around for them to charge. What is, what is it with that? With, the, with people charging windmills? Is that just a folk tale, or is that did that actually come from fucking Gilliam and his and his and his um uh what's the word I'm looking for? Successes, endeavors with the um, with uh, the 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 god was it was it called Gorlak? I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but those adult ankle biters uh, dream about mad ideas no normal man would ever contemplate. No matter what they're up to, they're to stop it. The best way to take care of a knight errant is to cut off his head. If anyone brings me such a exploit, is the word I was looking for. If anyone brings me such a head, he can count a plump pouch of coins. As you know, Philibert Four Fingers makes no idle promises. I can be harsh, but I can also be generous. If you say so, Philibus. If you say so. A faithful friend, that's a great name, by the way. History is wrought by those who can hang heroes. Buckler saddlebags. Are the Buckler saddlebags good saddlebags? 110. Oh, there are the saddlebags we have now. 110. We already have Buckler saddlebags. Of course we do. I'm not shocked. I think we got them from the tournament, didn't we, actually? The. the, the the riding one, perhaps? I could be wrong. Um, right. So let's head down south to the... What I'm presuming is actually a populated area. A village of some kind. I should uncover a few more locations for us to investigate. If nothing else. There we go. Run, Roach. Our dinosaur quarry... Uh, if, if this is if this is a populated area, it's got a problem because there is a bloodbath in front of in front of that mine. What the hell happened here? 
Ah. Good old ghouls. Kel, Kel, why have you put your sword away, you psychopath? Do not try and fist fight the ghouls. It's, it's not going to end well. I know you're strong, but you're not that strong. Well, we seem to have stopped an issue, if nothing else. Ugh. Contract Bovine Blues. Find the quarry foreman, okay. So it looks like we do have something to solve here, at least. That's good. Let's check the, um... Check the notice board while we're here. Right, we buy unusual looking stones, learn more from the owner, Natural Philosophy Department of the Imperial Academy. Remember the days when we would pick berries and mushrooms in the blessed in the blessed of forest without a care in the world. Those happy times are gone, for wolves big as mules and fierce as if gripped by hydrophobia now prowl those woods. Every day there are few places where one can feel safe in our beautiful duchy. When will our duchess do something? Merchants travelling east should stay clear of Delen for pass. Heed my words, it took a stroke of miraculous luck to avoid losing my life. Nothing could save the goods I was carrying. Was that the White Terror, maybe? I'm not sure. We've good news for you, dear subscribers. Philibert Fourfingers is dead. The vicious, handsome monk Crane has been defeated by the famed Witcher girl of Rivia and the castle handed over to the guard. We must ask, however, why ha why a foreigner had to clean this mess up for us? Where are, where are our knights errant uh, when we need them? Fair question. My 14-year-old son, Matteson, hasn't returned home for 10 days. I worry he has become a squire to some knight errant and wandered, up, wandered off with him in search of adventure. If you know anything about his fate or whereabouts, please let me know. I'm merely a lost mother. That feels like it should be a quest. Right, urgently needed specialist use to use the strange and extraordinary. Must be fast and reliable, sorcerer, druid, or witcher preferred. Problem involves cattle falling out of the sky at night and must be cleared up fast. Work must resume a quarry as uh, soon as we're up against tight deadlines. For details, see foreman of our dice or quarry. That must be the same quest, I'm guessing. So these, so these have just been falling from the sky, allegedly. That's different, I guess. It's very different. Okay, okay. Well, let's go and see the uh, let's go and see the foreman. I suppose it's probably a good, a good, a good next course of action. I think. Work out what the hell is going on here. Because I don't think cattle falling out of the sky is a um, is a very common weather. Okay. It's also a possibility that everyone in this mine is just drunk and they're dreaming that the quarry, uh, that uh, cattle's falling from the, um, falling from the sky. I don't know. I'm going to save my hands. Watch your stones. Yeah, well, there's definitely at least, at least one highly drunk man here. That's, that's to be sure. Right, let's go down here. Absolute madman. Oh, we do have a blacksmith. You don't look like a quarry man to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. Thank you, I guess. You're a will welcoming fellow. You always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? <laughs> I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. <laughs> <laughs> I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Oof. Ouch. Mm, sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here, part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. They twist their neck, lovely. Show me where you- Right, uh, where you got? Anything interesting? You got a level 47 pickaxe, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think such thing was possible. And yes, we, we do have a higher, higher level than 46. We, we can go up to 47, interesting. That's, that's, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. Whether we will or not, don't know, but... Right, gotta go. Buy a full set of gear, get a bottle of Fiorano free. 
interesting proposition. Right, let's go down the stairs. This this quarryman is one of the most is one of the hardest people to access I have ever seen. All right, here he is. What the golly blasting devils are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of events, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infesto will twist my plums off. <laughs> Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something, an exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? It's definitely different. Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've earned the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough, enough. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, plague! Demanding higher wages for hardship, poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. <laughs> and I can understand their concerns. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bothered to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow? Where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter? Take on the contract? Sure thing. What exactly are you doing here? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. Another because one? I thought, uh, the project after years I thought there was one going on. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. Oh, okay. It would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master. Will you look into it? Okay, the accident. Anyone, anyone witness this? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. <laughs> Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master Tarry no so longer. Something hit the crane, which the almost matter? definitely was not the cow. That's interesting. Right, my reward. Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good hackle. So, how much would you take? Okay, so we're starting at 300. That's not bad. We'll do 370. Mm. Fair enough. 365. 355. Fine. But that is the sum total, no bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. That's absolutely fine. I'll look into it for you. Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota rewards you with progeny aplenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Thank you, sir. Right, examine how the cow's carcass and the... Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. My god, why am I so tired today? Ugh. I actually had a good sleep last night as well. It doesn't make, doesn't make any goddamn sense. Examine how the... Stop, stop saying how. Examine the cow carcass and the workman's body. We're not examining how anything happened yet. We're examining the cow carcass. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's have a look in here, shall we? Looks absolutely disgusting. Workers mentioned him. 
poor guy. Unlucky as all hell. Yeah, very unlucky. Right. Now it's the peak of unluckiness to be crushed by a falling cow. Right, what's most likely to tell the story? Bite wounds on the cow? That's curious. Got sliced open. Mm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Or it had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. Ah, so it's just the... Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Ghouls and alligators come in and having their bites. Punctures and slashes? Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Blunt trauma wounds on the cow? Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. So presumably it was dropped by a by a by a dra by a draconid of some kind. What were the wounds on the worker's body? Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Oh, Fresh tooth marks. Jesus. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Cause of the accident. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. So that so it must have been the dragon in which smashed smashed into the crane, maybe, where it, was, it could have been thrown off balance, I guess, by the um, by the fact that it couldn't carry the cow. Seems the most likely. Let's have a look. Blood. Dragon, it must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried yeah. to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Use your witch senses to follow the wounded dragon its trail. Traces of dragon in blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. We are indeed. Okie dokie. Alright, so let's follow the le wounds. Over here. It led me to a flower. How unusual. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some uh, draconid oil on my um, on my sword just because I feel like we kind of need it. If I can find the draconid oil, obviously. There it is. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought. Looks like. Yeah, it's lost a lot of blood. Sheesh. Oh, we're starting to hear some noises now. More necrophages. Smells like sour mash. Dragon it must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. Get away from that. Right, now that we've caused an even bigger bloodbath. Bootlegger's notes. Uh, so I say to that uh, Minister Trembler, the whole Sons of Valley is overrated. Those wines, why, don't get me started on Estest. Ever since they started mass producing it, they should call it Ete Ete, for it's definitely seen better days. Then he says, right you are, I've always been a code de, code de blesseur chat myself. In fact, between you and me, I even prefer it to Sangreal. You know, the wine reserved for her illustrious highness and her, her inner circle. And then the fool I am, I blurt out, oh, I agree, whenever her grace has, has me taste, I've got to swill my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out that rancid taste. Oh, come on, I was drunk, wasn't I, talking out my, talking out my bum. Well, it turns out I had rather over overvalued my position at court. Trembling needed but say a word in the Duchess's ear, and in three shakes from a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of the Ducal Taste has been given back to Benoit. Can you believe it after that scandal involving Baroness Neek, Baroness's Neek and Quelling? As for me, well, what was, the, what was I supposed to do? I had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. <laughs> oh, dear me.
Yeah, that was a very silly thing to say, wasn't it? Landed on the roof of the distillery, raised her ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Okay, homemade pepper vodka. Call Just friends. sounds gross. Oh, here. sorry. Clearly too tired to fly. That's a good sign. It means it's probably going to be grounded. Was in a bad way, barely crawling. It's in a very bad way, isn't it? Oof. Mm, second draconid landed here, a larger one. Oh. Waited for the smaller one to heal, then they flew off together. That's Should different. Be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Okay, keep keep on following the blood. Probably bound for their nest. Does that mean we're likely to have two dragons to fight? Huh, another cow. Been here longer this one. Lots. What do we got here? Burn marks? Hmm. No wyvern made these. Slizzards. Mm. Gotta be. Only they breathe fire. Clearly feel safe here. Slizzards. Slizzard matriarchs. Oh god. That's got that's gonna be an interesting fight, isn't it? Slizzard matriarchs. If you ever find yourself facing a monster that breathes fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, bites with sharp teeth and swipes with even sharper claws, and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, and you are fighting a slizzard. With an arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise folk often mistake these draconians for dragons. Yet the experts, meaning witches, nor slizzards can constitute an entirely separate species, much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous. With one exception, slizzard females in mating season, or even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible, preferably by running at full tilt without looking back. So we've Grape Shots, Dracona Doyle, Ard, and Quen. Got ya. Do I have Grape Shot equips? I don't think I do, do I? No, we don't. We definitely do not. Um, let's get out then. Oh, we do. Oh, we we do. We do have it equipped now. Good stuff. Right, keep going. Can't be far off now, right? Trail ends here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. Yep, definitely up there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Better save the game here because this could go very badly. Fighting two, uh, two, two draconids at once. This doesn't sound like a fun experience, does it? Sun's joined the play in the, the, the prayer, that's fine. It's already wounded, so there we go. Just needed a witch's touch. Right. High time I collected a trophy. Trophy in the mother slizzard. Yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Yeah. Destroy the nest and the slizzard eggs. There we go. That'll do it. Can we loot that now? We can indeed. Before we leave, we might as well check what check whatever's down in the cave beneath us as well. Nice, a, a, a great red mutagen and a and Dahlia sword as well. That's excellent. We need those mutagens. Let's go for a stabby, stabby, slicey, slicey. There we go. Collect the reward for solving the cow mystery. <laughs> What a sentence to read that is. Um, right, what's that sword like, the Dahlia? Oh, it's a, such a good sword, isn't it? Such a good sword. It does, it, like, it, it does, it does, it's so tempting to use them, but it also feels like you're almost betraying, betraying it when you, when you, um, When you um, 
use something else other than, other than the Grandmaster Witcher stuff. Eh, it's fine. Uh, what's the trophy like as well? Because I'm pretty sure we'll have had that automatically equipped. 10% chance to dismember. What were we actually using? It was Goliath, by the way, not 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 uh, not Gorlak. Silver Basilisk trophy is really good. To be fair, it's... ah, we'll we'll keep on the dismembering. Dismembering's fun. Right on that note, guys, we shall end this episode here. Uh, next episode, we'll just check in the cave below us, and we shall go and return to get our reward. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have them, please do like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I shall catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Have a beautiful day, guys. Bye-bye.